Hey, by now you probably have already saw my short film slash cosplay of Vanessa Brooks from the Blade movie of 1998. I want to show you how I created my title card. I just want to walk you through how I did it and the inspiration behind it. So uh, I have been obsessed, I would say a little bit, with finding references and understanding references in film and art. And specifically in title cards, because I feel like they're so important to a film, even if we don't feel like they have much importance. I feel like they just help convey the messaging of the film a little bit more. So I found a few resources, which I'll link down in the description box below of some of the websites that I have been using to uh, reference and to just get a better idea of how to compose the messaging that I'm trying to get across. Of course, we know that the Blade film is based on a Marvel vampire and uh, the character, Vanessa Brooks, she is turned into a vampire the night that she's also giving birth to her son. Um, they don't see each other for a long while. And when they do, it's kind of like a bittersweet reunion. So I have all of this in my mind and I knew that I wanted to kind of bring that to the forefront when doing this cosplay. So the first thing I thought to do was to take a screenshot of the title card for the Blade film. And we see it's pretty simple. A lot of black space, a lot of empty space. And we have some bold red lettering here. The next thing I wanted to kind of take into consideration was what was the vibe of this short film? So I wanted it to kind of be like a, a horror hunting. So, you know, this girl is watching the movie, me. She's watching the movie. You know, she falls asleep during the movie. And in her dreams, you know, she has a nightmare of her becoming Vanessa Brooks. And so I came across this image of this horror film, I believe. It's called The Mad Magician. And obviously it's old, but this is perfectly the vibe that I wanted to go for. Um, and so I, I took this into consideration with the bold lettering choices, bright red in these colorways to kind of drive home the point. Again, the red from the Blade film. I wanted to incorporate kind of a brighter red color, too, because I thought like if blood is being drained from the body at first, it's going to be a little bright. Right. So I had these colorways and I figured that whatever I was going to make, uh, I need to incorporate these colors in some sort of way. Okay, so starting from there, I went back to the original and I just started typing um, the words. So I knew that I wanted to title my film or my short float um, based off of a song that Janelle Monet did. Um, I thought it was perfect and it fit the vibe. And so after you get the text and I'm using the font impact because it's bold and it looks so similar to the blade text. I'm not sure if it's the same, but it was similar enough for me. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, a lot of bit bigger. Okay. So I at least have my text. Then I started thinking like, you know, well, what, what are vampires known for? And we know that they are known for having, you know, pronounced canine <laughs> teeth, you know, the more to bite you with. So I started looking at this text to figure out how could I convey that messaging in this title. And so I thought of basically making the F and the T into fangs. Uh, so how I did that is first things first, you're going to highlight your, your font or your, your text. You're going to create outlines or hit shift control and O. And after you do that, if you click the direct selection tool, you'll be able to see all the anchor points on all your letters, but I'm only concerned with the F and the T. So because I have those anchor points now, I'm gonna add one in dead in the center. So I'm gonna go to my pen tool by clicking P and on my font, actually I gotta select it first, click P. I'm gonna add an anchor point there and I'm gonna do the same thing to my F. So I went back to direct selection, click the text, click P, add an anchor point. I'm going to go back to direct selection. I'm going to click that anchor point, drag it down, then hold shift. 
until I get a desired result. And because I want my T in float to match that of the F, I'm going to actually drag down a guide to the end of that F or close to it. And I'm going to repeat the step with my T. So I'm going to go to that center one. I'm going to click drag, hold shift, and bring it down. So after we have our stakes, uh, again, I wanted to change um, this into uh, teeth. So I'm selecting my font again, but I instead of direct selection, I chose actual selection. So it's highlighting everything. I went to effect, then warp, arc. And because I've already done this, it already saved my settings. I'm going to hit OK. And that pretty much uh, looks like I want. Now, if I wanted to make sure that that center point on the F and T were more pronounced, uh, I'm going to change that because they look kind of short. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click that, drag it down to where it looks more pronounced. And I'm going to do that same thing to the T. So they look more like teeth, right? So I'm going to take off my guide so we can see <clears throat> what that looks like. So only thing I did now is to color it, right? Because we don't want black on black. And again, because I had already came up with those colorways from before, and I'll show you my renditions of these. So this is before the arc, this is after the arc. Selected my text, click the gradient tool, make sure that it's selected. And I actually crafted the gradient based off of the colors that I had here. So <clears throat> the final result is this float. As you can see, to me, it conveyed what I wanted to do. This is my first time attempting a short cosplay film ish so i'm super proud how it came out and i'm even more proud of the title page hopefully this helped you if you're looking to kind of understand the thought process on how to create a title page for a short film or anything that you're working on and hopefully you picked up some new tips as i am always learning new things about illustrator and things for my projects so I'm happy to share what I have learned, basically so that I don't forget it in the future. All right, y'all. See y'all soon with some more stuff. Bye.